Hey guys, back with another one, back with another one. So I have got plenty of DMs. You guys are funny. Um, In regards to Krishan Rock, did she speak with P. Diddy? Did I hear about her speaking with P. Diddy? So on and so forth. Um, So I have some information I want to share. Also, I want you to listen to some audio that I want you guys to hear. But to confirm... I cannot confirm or deny whether or not Krishan Rock spoke to P. Diddy because I did not speak to Krishan Rock. I don't see it anywhere on the internet. And the sources that you got the information from, I don't have a personal relationship with those people, places or things. So I don't know whether, um, you know, that's, you know, true or false. So that's as far as I can tell you. I'm about that situation and I'm not going to dig any further. I know what y'all are looking for, but you're not going to get it over here. So, uh, Art Kelly calls WAC 100 out. Make sure y'all leave these thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I'm very interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Very interested. So, leave it down below. Art Kelly calls WAC 100 from prison to speak on Diddy's current troubles. Says he doesn't believe any of it. People want to laugh and joke on the radio not knowing they could be next. That's true. They could be next. So we're going to listen to WAC 100. Art Kelly had called WAC 100 on the phone to get some insight of what's going on with the P. Diddy situation. And I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. It's, it does look uh, unusual. Let's just say that. And I'm not going to confirm or deny my thoughts at this present time about the innocent or guilty verdict in my mind that I have my position with P. Diddy until further notice. I have to get more information like I do with all allegations that come across my desk. So until further notice, we're just going to listen to this audio here and just keep updating you guys on what's going on with this whole situation. We see that. We watch that. That was crazy is what you know. I know, you know, because we just been in the Jersey forever, is, is once they, and I hope they don't, but if they detain him, that's when all lining up with their hand in hand. So I'm saying, man, see, the bad part about him, this is what I don't understand about this, all this. If there was a time, right, where this was a play, this was y'all party, this was y'all, and, and, like, if you would, um, a participant, right? I mean, you of legal age. I don't understand what all the hoopla all of a sudden is against the wheel. It's against the wheel. Man, what's so you just came back to 300 parties? The wheel. <clears throat> all get up, turn on your camera, let them know who they is, put their ID up, and you where they at because any given Sunday, right, when I'm go bad, they can extort you or cover with the accusations. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. That's why I say out there laughing and, make, and making comedian jokes and doing all that on the radio and everything else, but they next. Yeah. That's what's stupid. They're so stupid, they don't even realize the move that's going on. I mean, it's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah. I don't believe none of this. I mean, no, you I tell told me them straight funny. up, bro. You can tell me about anybody in now. You can tell me the, on the news the weather is, is the sky is blue. I'm not going to, because I'm listen. in it now. I know what they did. <laughs> yeah, like, listen, I told, at, when it first started with Cassie, I said, yo, this is a stick up move. All the problems, and I just came out and said, hey, listen. These are my sexual preferences. Yes, I'm bi or whatever. I'm extort me, and I'm tired of it. They know that I'm in the music industry, and boom, boom, boom. Would have ate her up, and, and still, but but now they're using that. They're using that against him. That, but now it's getting to a point to where, you know, it's getting to a point to where it's like you 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 gonna have to say something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. hey, he ain't please though. As long as, you know. No, nah, he ain't. No, no, nah, nah, he ain't. They, they didn't raid it. You know, they ran up in his cribs, but you know. Yeah, I saw that. Crib, this is how you know it's weak. You know, usually when they run up in it, they coming to get you, too. Yeah. They look at They still searching and looking at the run. And that. They ain't telling him to come turn himself in. Or that. They grounded his plane because they seen him moving. He wasn't even on the plane. They wanted to make sure he wasn't because they, they probably didn't restrict his passport and shit as of yet, as of now. You know, but crazy. Yeah, but that's how it all started, though. Whack, you understand? Started. No, I all know. That. No, I know. It's all that because they don't. You know, it's it's crazy, man. He got some money, so they know they got to come right. They know if they come half stepping, he do got the money to to to, to fight. So they ain't finna. 
They ain't go. Well, I do know this: if they do put him in cuffs, they only put him on cu- in cuffs because they got a definite. They got some at that point. And so then that ain't even necessarily true, right there. Well, they, well, they, they feel like they got this enough. Call is from they, the federal they got prison. enough. They want they, you. If they want a plan to get you, or if it's a conspiracy, yeah. anything, they can put you in cuffs, bro. <laughs> and I've been telling people. I've been preaching. I said, "Yo, one thing already taught me what I didn't know." Is we going off this state of the land when it comes to the feds? It's 18 across the board. Jersey, which is 16, Nevada and Atlanta. That's the state. But if the feds want to come in and pick 20. it up, federally is 18. I said, I didn't even know that until, you know, I thought, you know, whatever the state said, that's what it was, which is crazy. Like, it's crazy. I don't know why the federal law don't force state law to be 18 across the board. Crazy. Yeah, that's how I love the news. I see, we see that. We watch. And what's crazy is, what you know, I know, you know, because we just been in this energy forever. Is is once they, and I hope they don't. But if they detain him, that's when all. Well, I was talking out loud, uh, and I ain't gonna edit it. But uh, forgive me. I don't know if Wack One Hundred was talking about age. Um, like in different states, the laws, I don't know if he was talking about once it gets over a certain amount of time you can do for these kind of crimes, it goes to federal and I'm throwing out 20 in my head or 25 or whatever I was saying, but I was, I was listening hard, but this is the only thing that I can confirm or deny. And I confirmed that WAC 100 did in fact speak with, um, R. Kelly. R. Kelly called him from federal jail and they had a conversation in regards to P. Diddy. And I approve this message. 